So welcome to another episode of On Air and we have Akilan who is an in-house Zoho CRM expert and today we are going to be discussing user experience. Akilan, so we know that uh, CRM systems can be incredibly powerful but can we talk about how important uh, the look and feel of a CRM system makes a difference? See, because I feel for a CRM to be functional, it doesn't necessarily have to look standard, don't you think? So what does Zoho CRM do in terms of improving user experience as such? That's a great question, Shakti. So there is no shortage for you know robust, scalable CRM solutions in the market. Almost every vendor out there is uh, you know focused on adding more features to their product. Right. Because there is a rat race out there to be the number one in terms of functionality. Sadly, because of this, uh, the user experience almost always takes a back seat. Yeah. As a result, we have powerful CRM solutions that are not always practical. That's why we launched Canvas for Zoho CRM, the industry's first CRM design studio. With Canvas, you can finally own your CRM experience. You can create and assign unique views for the different teams in your organization that are contextual and relevant to what they do, how they work, how they like it, and more. Right. Canvas is the highest order of customization. You see, this is how a default view looks in Zoho CRM. I call this the vanilla view because there's nothing particularly wrong with the flavor vanilla. Yeah. It's just basic. Now, with Canvas, you can build something more tasteful. You can decide which fields to showcase, how to organize data, how to color them, add images, add widgets, and more. Look at this one. It's pretty nice, right? Yeah. And the best part is, you can do this without writing a single line of code. With Canvas for Zoho CRM, you can transform your typical CRM solution and build something beautiful which is also practical and functional as well. Right. It's an essential asset that no business should miss out on. That actually sounds amazing. 